Greetings everyone. So I'm out here on the lot. I've decided to do a video today bringing you three of my favorite, what I call couples coaches. So sleeps two to three people. All three that I'm going to show you will be under 26 feet in length and under 6,000 pounds in weight. So now we've got to go find one. Stay tuned. So in no particular order, just basically where I could find what ones. We're gonna start with this 2023 Micro Light, Flagstaff Micro Light 25 FKS. So we're looking at 5,469 pounds, a length of 25 feet 11 inches. And I did say under 26 feet, so we've got an inch to spare here. Sleeps two people, super super cute coach we'll talk about some of the outside stuff you'll notice we have frameless windows tinted uh let's see there's 200 watts of solar on the top with a 1500 watt inverter um you have a uh but, 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 molded fiberglass front with automotive windshield outside kitchen so you do have a little griddle out here as well as a refrigerator if you watch any of my videos, I pretty much say it every time there's an outside kitchen. These are great for, we well, don't have to worry about so much with kids because you're in a couple's coach, but uh, if you have guests coming over to your campsite, they don't flap in and out of your camper to go to the bathroom. And it is nice if you're sitting out by the campfire to be able to grab a cold drink right there. You have a ladder on the back, so it is a fully walkable roof, meaning you can get up there anytime you want, clean and maintain this thing. Extra storage back here. I do want to show you this side. You do have a single slide on this side. Now we'll take you in. You know what? Let's look at this door feature real quick because I might have missed some stuff. So it's Asdell wall construction. Uh, it is 5H tongue and groove plywood floor. Fully laminated walkable roof. I already told you guys that one. Six-sided aluminum frame. What's some other great thing? Hey, I got the uh, 200 watt solar panel with a thousand watt inverter. Got that right. Backup camera prep. I didn't mention that when we were back there. My bad. I was going to show you the Max Air when we go inside. The Teton all in one <coughs> Wi Fi antenna is awesome. I have it on my Flagstaff. And basically, it helps grab the Wi Fi signal and boost it for your devices in your unit, which is really nice. So when we come in, we do have a front kitchen in this unit, which means you're gonna have a lot of countertop space, a lot of storage space. We've got our three burner stove, microwave. We've got a 50-50 stainless steel sink, big window to look out of. And like I said, lots and lots of storage. We pan around. We're gonna come to our theater seats or love seat. That center will fold down and become a, a theater seats if you'd like. Uh, carpetless slide that is a woven vinyl material. Super easy to clean and maintain. We have our 12 volt fridge right over here and that's directly next to our entertainment system. So we have our TV directly below that. We have our fireplace. And again, if you watch my videos, you know how much I love the fireplaces. You can turn them on just for ambiance if you want, but early season and late season camping, they're awesome because they take the chill out of the air and it's super nice in here. I do want to mention also that these are all screwed and glued solid wood cabinets throughout the entire unit. It does also have a water filter system built into it, which is really nice. We come back to the bathroom. We've got our sink with storage below it. We've got our medicine cabinet and then we have our toilet, of course, and a cabinet here for all of your towels and toiletries and stuff with a beautiful neo-angled shower right here with a nice skylight. And I talked about that max air vent right there. So then, last but certainly not least, we come back to the bedroom. We've got our queen size bed with a super comfy mattress on it. Uh, storage underneath. Then you've got the large nightstands on both sides, as well as the his and her closet, some additional storage up there. You have a place to mount a TV back here in the bedroom if you would like. Something else to point out before we move on to the next one, you do have the domed ceiling in here. 
which you're seeing more in travel trailers, but it's nice because it just gives it that little extra height and makes it feel a little bit bigger in here. So now off to the next one. So we're off to find the second and the third camper. And I actually bypassed our indoor showroom to come outside thinking that all three of them were gonna be outside. And it turns out only one of them was outside. So <laughs> one of the benefits of a 66 acre lot plus an indoor showroom is lots and lots of campers to choose from. One of the disadvantages for me is finding campers. So stay tuned. I'm going to take the long walk back into the showroom and show you the other two units now. Okay, I made it inside and I found our next camper. This is another Flagstaff Microlight and this is the 25 BSDS. So we're looking at 5,912 pounds, 25 feet, 10 inches. We do have that big outside kitchen, larger outside kitchen. This time we have a sink, we have a bigger refrigerator, and we have some additional storage cabinets. We have a mount on the back for a grill. We have our ladder. So again, it is a laminated, fully walkable roof. You do have that backup camera prep back there. Same frameless tinted windows, outside speakers, nice big awning. Uh, you have the solid entry steps again. Electronic stabilizer jacks. The other one had electronic stabilizer jacks as well, and I totally forgot to mention that. A massive pass-through storage with a table in there. Electronic tongue jack, same on the other one. You've got that molded fiberglass front cap with the automotive grade windshield again on this one as well. I think also, bear with me. Yes, you have a two inch hitch on the back of this one. I think you did on the other one as well. I'm not 100% sure. Place to mount a TV here on the outside of the unit. This time we're gonna start at the front of this one, which is gonna be a king bed, storage underneath it, his and her closet, as well as additional storage, massive nightstands with power, USB and regular, a big closet, and a place to mount a TV in here. This is 50 amp service, and you can mount a second AC in here if you would like. Out here in the main part of the unit, we have our theater seats again, carpetless slide again. We've got a nice big stainless steel 12 volt refrigerator. We have that same dome ceiling in here, same screwed, glued, um, solid wood cabinets, night roller shades. No, they still have night roller shades. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do in the bedroom, sorry. Uh, let's see, solid surface countertops, water filtration system again, 50-50 stainless sink. Your TV is right there, microwave, three burner stove. This even, like you've got a ton of countertop space there but it also has that little pull out there for additional prepping serving space. Outside of the bathroom, you've got these large cabinets here to put pillows, blankets, board games, whatever you would like. Last but certainly not least in our bathroom, we've got a porcelain toilet. Means you can use any of your cleaning chemicals you have at home on it. Nice big sink uh, with storage below as well as your medicine cabinet. Hey there. You also have a ton of storage in here deep storage for towels, toiletries, all that good stuff. And a slightly larger shower in this one, still with that moon roof to give you plenty of height and you still have the max air vent in here. Okay, so that was the 2023 Flagstaff 25 BSDS. Now let's go find, oh, I totally missed, wow. More cabinet space and again, Fireplace, big thumbs up. Let me show you the inside of this cabinet space. This always reminds me, if you grew up in the 80s, 90s, perfect place to store all your VHS tapes. <laughs> I just dated myself a lot. Now on to the next camper. All right, I found the last camper in our list. This is the Hideout 174RK. We're coming in at 4,200 pounds on this one. Technically sleeps three. I say two, but technically sleeps three, 21 feet, five inches. Again, with the nice big powered awning, LED lights, um, manual tongue jack, manual stabilizer jacks. But listen, 
I've talked about this a lot with people. When I go to the campground, I see just as many people with manual, manual stabilizer jacks, and they bring a drill in a bit, and they can actually run theirs up and down faster than I can on my powered ones. So some people are like, oh, that's a deal breaker. Don't let it be a deal breaker. Outside refrigerator again, big plus. No ladder on the back of this one. You do have the spot for your backup camera. It takes a little bit more to do it but you still can do it. This one actually has, now that I'm seeing it, this has the Lippert ladder system. So what this is, on the go ladder. So instead of it being mounted here all the time, it's probably up in the storage. It's this cool telescopic ladder that you can hook up there to get up and clean and maintain, but you don't have it on the back of your unit all the time. Let's see if it's up here. Maybe you have to buy it additionally. I'm gonna drop a comment below this video and let you know, cause I think you have to buy it separately. Matter of fact, I'm almost positive you do. But it's pretty cool. I got to play with one. They fold down really small, but yet like I climbed up on it, was pulling my weight on it, no problem at all. All right, let's check the inside of this one out. Okay, so a little different than this one. This one features a Murphy bed. So during the day, you've got your couch with end tables on both sides. At night, your bed folds down and those become nightstands. You have regular charging, USB charging. You have the his and hers closet still on both sides. This one also, back up, beep, beep, beep. This one also comes with the Solar Flex 200 on it. So because it's a Keystone product, it's got Solar Flex 200, which is a solar panel on the top, Dragonfly batteries, the lithium batteries. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna keep your battery charge. You can run your awning out, you can run your slides, you can run your lights, it'll keep your refrigerator going, all that good stuff. And what's really cool with that solar flex is you can build upon that all the way up to a super fancy full boondocking system. And it's actually cheaper to upgrade because a lot of the wiring and stuff is already done for you. So super nice. I wanted to mention that before we got too far into this. You've got your booth dinette. So this is where they were talking about additional sleeping. That will fold down into a bed to give you an additional sleeping. You do have storage down below that. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice big kitchen in this. Look at all of your countertop space that you get in this. Your TV gets mounted right here. So you put that on a swivel where you can watch it anywhere here in the camper you would like. You've got a smaller sink, two burner stove, microwave, some additional storage back there. Your 12 volt Furion refrigerator with a ton of space. No problem putting a week's worth of groceries in here. And then last but certainly not least on this one is our bathroom. So we have our stand up shower with the moon roof. We do have our max air, no, it's not a max air vent, standard vent there. <coughs> Excuse me, I got choked. Toilet, you've got storage below your sink, a lot of countertop space there. And then medicine cabinet, hey there again. Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Three couples coaches, under 26 feet, under 6,000 pounds. Um, if I missed anything on any of them, you would like more information on, I don't wanna hide the camera there, um, or you would just like some more information, let me know. If there was another uh, camper that you would like to see more on, just drop a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to go film it for you. Have a fantastic day.